Hello everyone, Racy Toothpick here, back again with some more humanity. Last time we pretty much finished the red plant that we were on. I think it was called like Fooder or something like that. Our guy called it Foreskin once. Now we're on this uh, frozen planet. And let's talk to our telekinesis friend here, Zip, and see what she's got to say. It's been a little Hello, buggy, Landon. it's been a little worrisome. Welcome to planet Yesar. Yesar. Oh, why do you look like a ghost? Are you floating? I am not actually there. I am speaking to you telepathically. You are just seeing a rendering of me. But I can actually float. I will show you sometime. I mean, I'm, I can probably see it now. I would love to learn how to float, but I would rather save the human race. What information do you have on this planet? This planet has a cold climate with an average temperature of minus 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that suitable for humans? Uh, no. <laughs> not for this human. I'm not sure how we would grow food here. It would just be, it would just suck in general. I hate being cold. But if this is the only option, then we will live here. Have a look around and see what is here. Maybe there is abundant food on this planet and you just have to find it. If not, the next wormhole should be close by. It should be in some water somewhere near here. There also appears to be human life forms on this planet already. Oh wow, human life forms? How could that be? There are abducted humans all throughout the universe. Some alien species are fascinated by humans. It looks like around the time 1400 AD some people were abducted from Earth from the Cervec Federation to do testing on. The test subjects are still living here to this day. Oh, 1400 AD, wow. That's fascinating. I always thought aliens had visited Earth. Now I know I'm not crazy. I'm going to take a look around Planet Yesar and see what is here. I hope you are not scared of heights. I know that is a common fear among humans. You are going to have to climb down this mountain before you can do any exploring. I don't like heights, but what choice do I have? I can do this. Okay, I will be keeping tabs on you. Be safe. You never know what you might discover here. Thank you, Zip. Goodbye. Well, now we can see how the uh, fall damage is in this game. In fact, uh, I mean, never mind. We don't even have to worry about what we gently climb down rocks here. It looks like we just got to follow these uh, ladders. Definitely a, a human race here with their... can create candles. They can use iron. That's pretty neat, and wood too. They got carpenters, so they've definitely improved their works since uh, 1400. Oh wow, it is actually, it's super cold, but you can actually still get water, so I guess, I mean, that can't be water. It has to be some sort of other liquid form that can handle the cold, I would assume. I have added a point of interest on your compass. It looks like there is a crashed ship nearby. You should go check it out. Let's Maybe go. someone there knows where to find a galaxy map. All right, Zip. I'm gonna go look around the place here. It's like, do I have a gun? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did, where did I get this sword from? Hold on. Okay, we have a sword again. I guess um, even though we lost it to that one guy, we have. Uh, somehow got it back from him I guess I don't know I guess they really weren't planning that out either let's get a nice look here the music's actually not so bad it's kind of peaceful kind of sad if you really think about it too I don't know why it's got like a sad melody to it It's pretty, pretty empty out here. Anybody chilling? Let me see here. <laughs> chilling, and it's cold. I don't know why, but that made me chuckle. I was just thinking about it. All right, what do we got here? I do like these um, leaves. That like icy blue. There's the crashed ship. Is there robots chilling around it though? That's the real question here. I say slowly but surely running over there. I say everything looks nice. 
Moon's a little far away. That might actually be the sun. I, I'm assuming it's the moon, but you never know. Okay, here we are. What do we got here? This looks like some sort of land craft, possibly. It might float. It might be a, a plane for the space. Whoa, look at that cockroach-looking thing. What the hell is that? Oh, it's like those... Man. Okay, it definitely doesn't look like an ant, but there's a... um. Was it like a Ludwig or something like that where it has this um this tail thing? Well, you know, let's talk to this guy. Jesus Christ, he's got like that buzz. Hello, Earthling. How did you get here? Did humans finally figure out how to travel at the speed of light? I wish I took a wormhole. Wow, I didn't realize those were a real thing. You must know someone of very high intelligence to create a wormhole. I do. Her name is Zip. She is trying to help me save humanity. Do you know where I can find a Milky Way galaxy map? The only way to get one of those is from the Cervic Federation. Unfortunately, they are an evil organization who destroys whole civilizations. Getting anything from them is no easy task. Even getting to them would be nearly impossible. You cannot actually go to the speed of light without your body being ripped apart. You are not conditioned for it. Maybe I can use a wormhole to reach them. Speaking of that, have you seen a wormhole anywhere around here? Looks like a big metal donut. I believe a wormhole only works in water or with a plutonium power module. I'm guessing you don't have a power module, so you need to find a water. The only water that is not frozen on this place is in the caves. You're going to need a better weapon than that crappy gun you have if you plan to make your way through the caves. Fantastic. Do you have a laser gun for me? I don't have any laser weapons, but I do have a, ran a radon gun. It uses radon gas to shoot radioactive pellets. It will work for what you need. You can have it if you climb to the top of a mountain and fetch me something. Sure, why not? Just climb down a mountain so I can hike up one. Just follow the trail on the other side of the outpost that leads to the top of the mountain. Up there near the big tree, part of the engine on my ship came off when I crashed here. I'm having trouble finding it, so go find it for me and the radon gun is yours. I've never stuck on Yesar for a while now. And I sure would like to leave this place. Okay, I'm on it, Mr. Ant-Man. You will be leaving Yesar in no time. Alright, creature that doesn't look like an ant. I will definitely help you out. Let me check here. Some ammunition for our pistol. I'm about to say, at least this time now we can switch out our blade for the... I guess the radon gun that we're going to get. Oh, I guess this is the way we need to go. Oh, look at them turkey tracks. It's definitely the tracks of a bird. I must say, I don't know what type of bird, but if it is a turkey, this is a, a big turkey. This is like a 400 pounder. It's gotta be. Let's check this out. I really hope we do find this creature. I would really love to see what type of weird alien creature that this guy's made. I mean, look at those floating balls right there. Kind of strange. Some purple flowers. Kind of check that out. Maybe we can pick them or something. Never know. Got to check it out. Nope. Just a random flower that somehow survived in this cold climate. Let's say more turkey tracks. I'm worried. That's quite a few of them. That's more than one, I would assume. We're going to get surrounded by a pack of chickens they're gonna whip us as they keep on climbing the mountain here looks like we can actually come check out these floating balls and see what the deal is with all of them I mean it'd be kind of cool if there's some sort of writing there that we can read let's see while well, I let my guy kind of regenerate his stamina what do we got here? Definitely. Cervic Federation Monument. This monument was constructed by the Cervic Federation after the discovery of the delirium mineral. The mineral is said to be the most powerful substance in the known universe. These spheres are permanent and will defy gravity for eternity because of the energy used from delirium mi mineral when this monument was constructed is enough to hold the spheres without the help of any object forever. I can admit it, that is pretty neat. 
It is neat, but what is the point? You know, like, just a, a random monument out here. Just chilling. Let's go over here. We'll save. I'll say there's a fire right here. We might as well. Let's see. Who's chilling up here? Come on, big old turkey. I hope it's a big old turkey. That will make my day. It's a little early for Thanksgiving, but you know what? I'll take it when I can. Do a little jump there. Let's keep on moving. Oh, there's a big old tree over here. Alright, we're, we're getting there. We're close here. Oh, it looks like it's actually kind of over here to the side, maybe? Oh, no, over here. The engine part should be around here somewhere. You are going to have to look for it. Try searching around the rocks just north of the big tree. You are very nice for helping the Ant-Man. I am sure it will be worth all the trouble. I hope so. Alright, let's look for this big old chunk of unnatural material chilling out here. It's probably somewhere hidden in between these rocks. I mean, I could assume. Let me look right in here. Is that it right there? No, it kind of looks like a rock. It might not be. Oh, there it is. Okay, so just take this giant piece of engine parks and parks, parts, and let's uh run back. Apparently we can carry all that. The gravity must be very low here. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I kind of hear something. It's like way in the distance. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely some sort of sound that's really unnatural. It's a lot easier running down the mountain, though, than it is climbing it. Now we're getting close here. I can definitely hear, like, somebody getting beat up or something. Oh, there's a wasp. Let's say, let's kill him. No one likes wasps. Oh, he's dead. Let's look at it. Man, what type of face does that thing have, though? He's got some weird, weird arms, too. My god, let's talk to this human. Oh my. Thank you for helping me fight off the, that creature. It had the strength of ten men. Where did you come from? I'm the only one outside of the caves. I was banished from there a long time ago. Holy shit, a human of another planet? That is crazy. So there are more humans here living in a cave? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yes, there are lots of people in caves. Most of them are very friendly. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the caves. Oh well, why did he get banished from the cave? Did he do something bad? Please tell me you're not a murderer. Murder? That has never happened in the cave. I did not perform my duties. I was the hunter in my tribe, but I was unable to find food, so they banished me. That seems a little harsh. If I did not perform my duties, my tribe could have all died. I was being lazy instead of finding food. I regret my decision. We all make mistakes. They should have given you a second chance instead of banishing you. No, they did the right thing. You should go visit the caves. There could, they could use your help. They are far from here. You will be lucky to survive the journey. But I think you are strong enough. Okay, I will go check out the caves. Good luck out here living on your own. Try not to freeze to death. Before you go, there is a machine nearby that uses magic to make men stronger. You might want to go check it out. I will mark the area where I saw it on your compass. It might be hard to find. It has snowed a lot since the last time I saw it. You must be talking about a gene fabri fabricator. I have used a few of those. Don't I need a key to get in? Not this time. I rigged up explosives in front of the door. I was going to blow my way in, but I lost my nerve when I heard some of those killer robots walking around. Those killer robots are weak ass bitches. I can handle them. Thanks for the tip. Wow, that guy's a little. kind of getting. Oh, look, there's some food here. Oh, look at that. Yep, give me this one. Looks like a fern of some type. I see that guy is. Uh, his confidence is through the roof. What is that uh, saying from the Darkest Dungeons? Overconfidence is an insidious killer or something like that. An insidious killer. I don't remember. Something like that. Overconfidence gets you killed. That's all I know. Let's see here. Apparently we missed this on the way up. 
lands a lot farther. It looks so close on the, mi the mini map up there in the corner, but it like takes you forever to get there. It's probably down here in this ravine. No, 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 past the ravine. I guess it's chilling on the side of the mountain. I want to say, hopefully. Hello? Man, it's way up here, actually. It's a lot farther than I thought. Might actually be, like, somewhere around that tree, really. I'll say I gotta work my stamina here a little bit. I must say, up the mountain we go. I say, come on. The only good thing is it'll be a lot easier for us to come down. We can just do, like, a massive jump, see how much air we can get. I'd say kind of, I guess it's like right over this hill. Okay, what do we got? We have nothing apparently. I guess it's behind this big old rock as well. Yeah, they definitely need to add like creatures or something. Something to draw your attention while you're traveling. I mean, I do enjoy rock climbing just as much as the other person here, but... A little bit of something else might be good too. But we're real close here. I think we'll see it right behind this rock. We'll climb it. We'll try to climb it. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Oh, it's right out here in the open. Okay, well, let's uh, get some shots in here. Never mind, we're way too far away. Wish we had grenades. This would be a perfect time. There's two of them, they're chilling. They unsuspect their immediate demise. Apparently we got a headshot in on that guy. Okay, let's hit this barrel. Move back. I'll say that was a lot easier than I expected. A lot cleaner too. We got increased stamina, which is great. Like I said earlier, I hope that we can... Your stamina has increased. No, thank you. I hope that our stamina can be like unlimited one day where we can just kind of run all the way across the map, get where we need, don't have to worry about anything. Let's see here on our journey back to the crashed uh, ship. Let's just kind of get a nice view of the galaxy here. I really like that right there. Some vibrant colors. A little bit of fog and the horizon. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, there's really nothing else to really talk about out here in the uh, barren, uh, frozen world here, which has a perfect wheat-like grass growing with no issue because that happens on uh, frozen planets, not for sure, but hey, whatever floats the boat. Oh wow, look at that, look at all that water. I mean, is that water? It might be ice or something, I guess. Maybe the cave's like somewhere over there. Water just kind of like leaving the cave and freezing. I mean, I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. Let's get our stamina back here. Let's say keep on running. Yeah, it's definitely a body of water over there. But I mean, if it is ice, then that means that there is some type of winter you would expect or there would probably be no water on the top part of the planet right i mean you would think it would just be kind of like snow wouldn't it if there was like if it was never kind of like semi-warm here while well, i'm stuck in this tree okay get out of there Ooh, we're stuck okay i got worried just for a minute there Mostly we'll just have to go kind of around here. I think the trees are blocking our path here. Nope, looks like we're good. He's chilling in this room. Let us talk to the ant creature. Oh, there we go. It's a little weird there. You found it. Your radon gun is in the crate near the table. I just remember there was a landslide blocking the entrance to the cave. You see, you're going to have to blow up the rocks blocking the entrance. How the hell am I supposed to blow up rocks? There is a cervic fa factory on Yesar. You might be able to find some explosives in there. That would work. But getting to the factory is no easy task. It is very far from here. 
in the middle of nowhere. I do, however, have a hovercraft you can use. Hovercraft, that sounds fun. Sign me up. The keys for the craft are in my cabin north of here. Fortunately, the cabin has become a nest for some hostile creatures. The cabin is full of fuel for my ship, and if you check, and if you chuck a grenade in there, it will blow up the fuel and kill the creatures. Then you can fetch the keys I left you a few grenades beside the radon gun. What about all your fuel for your ship? Won't you, won't you will be stuck here even longer? It's true, I will be stuck here even longer. But if this is what it takes to save you, then I guess it's worth it. In these frigid temperatures, your compass will not work very well. If you head towards the frozen pond behind this outpost and you will see my footprints in the snow. Just follow the footsteps all the way up to the cabin. I can do that. You are a kind soul, Mr. Annie Man. I will head north towards the cabin. Thanks for all your help. Maybe one day I can return the favor. Alright, so let us look for this weapon. I'm assuming it's over here. Let's open up the crate. Let us get rid of the sword. Get the grenades. And the shotgun rounds. This is a shotgun, or at least it kind of looks like one. The question is, is how do we use grenades? Okay, it's G. G is to use grenades, so... You plan on playing the game, that is how it's done. I must say, I'm hoping that this is where the hovercraft is, so we can have a faster exploration time. Especially when we're like wasting so much time. I'm gonna run around, but yeah, this is definitely a large lake here. But I guess it's been like so long since it's been warm that the whole tree has pretty much grown through it. Probably the most healthy tree here because the root system right buried in the the water and stuff. And I'm assuming there should be like currents or whatnot going down in there. Let's keep on moving here. I would say it's kind of kind of barren. I think we're attacking a cervic. Is it? No, no, no. It's not the cervic. It's the ant guy's place here. We can follow his tracks. Apparently, you have to follow the footprints in the snow to reach the top of the mountain. Don't stray too far from the path, or you may get lost and freeze to death. Your wife would be devastated if she lost you. So be careful, Landon. No, that's pretty neat. We'll just have to follow these tracks and even telling us where a uh, fireplace is but yeah apparently ant-man has turkey uh feet as tracks i don't know how that works but yeah let's try out this gun yeah definitely like uh all oh, those guys can take some damage game's a little laggy the guy exploded into a thousand please pieces here I wouldn't mind gnawing on his body, putting like fear into his buddies. You know, you gotta you gotta show your dominance out here. Let's keep on going. We got a little survive tattoo apparently. I've never seen that. Can you see that with the gun? No, you can't. So with the larger weaponry, you can actually see a little tattoo there on the left arm. That's pretty neat. Looks like we have another bug. Let's see how the pistol do it does on him. I say, it kind of took us quite a few bullets to put him down. Oh, he's coming. Oh no, the, the pistol don't work well either. Here we got rid of that one though. Yeah, so these uh, flying bugs actually have some pretty good health or defense or something. Their shell must be really um, protective. Because it takes quite a few bullets to put them down, let me tell you. These bugs do not know when to quit. Let's say, let me just kind of back up here. Help oh, is a little rough, but it's not terrible. Okay, oh, is he still alive? Nope. He's dead. Oh shit, there's another one. Yep, yep, you bastard. Okay, he missed. Okay, we took, we took him down. Had to make sure there before I set it for the confirmation. Gotta put him down. And like, should we use a grenade? Like, let's try it out here. So, G. Oh, oh, is it gonna go off? Oh, that worked out.
perfectly. Just like a charm. I think we need to hold one just in case when we uh, reach the facility with our fuel. We'll throw a grenade to make it easy. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we went the wrong way. Maybe we were supposed to go like the opposite direction. Because it kind of looks like we're going towards the cave. I'm not for sure. Oh, but that looks like a perfect place to use a grenade though. Well, especially when there's more than one there. As they do frighten me. So let's actually use G here. Just throw the grenade out there. Okay, we killed one of them. Let's draw one of them towards us here. Never mind that did not work. Did not work as planned. But we did take care of him with no issues, so that's good. Alright, go up the next ladder here. Oh, that guy's a little slow here, wow. I was not expecting that. I us say, I, I didn't even know he had a, um, a ladder I mean, animation for us here. A little slow, but still, that's pretty neat. Okay, there's a bug right there. Looks like there's a few of them here. Let's see, we'll just kill his buddies here. He's trying to impale us. A little bad touch. Ooh, both of them are coming up. Yep, no sir. You assholes. Picking on me. Oh wow, well, we're actually... Well, we might die. Yep, killed one of them. Oh, the bastard, we're dead. <laughs> Luckily, we do have a saving point. We might have to kill everyone again, though. Yep, looks like we do. Let's actually kind of hold on our grenades here. For when we have multiple enemies here. It wouldn't be so bad if they're like the hitbox is like way out there. Like they can really hit you from afar. Like if you get away from them, it doesn't matter. Still get a good hit in on you. I think they, they do like hiding behind rocks, so kind of forgot where their placement was. I think we're going to be okay. I say, I think there's two of them right around there. So just kill this uh, one by himself. Oh, yeah, I see you. Oh, oh, I did not know I needed to reload. Was not paying attention. Okay, got rid of him. I mean, the shotgun doesn't look bad. He, he might have, you know, he put a lot more um, detail into the pistol than he did the shotgun here. Like that, that you can really see. But I mean, he is trying to make it look futuristic, so. But I think he could have definitely did a little bit more work on it. Okay, he's dead. Let's get the one that's chilling right here. Oh, of course, I gotta reload. No, uh, I didn't even hit R there. I don't even think I was empty, really. Oh, well, let me look for some health while we're out here. Because if we can get that, that could really help us out. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to say there's just one guy chilling here. We can take him. I'm bigger than you. But, man, they sure can take. They can take about five shotgun shells to the face there, pretty much. Oh, there's some help. Let me take that. I say we're almost to the 30 minute mark. I kind of want to get at least where we were before we died. Before we end the video. But this is where I want to kind of start using grenades. I say because three or four of them can really cause some havoc here. So let me just kind of get over here to the side. I mean, if we shoot one of them, it's going to draw all of them in. Oh, it's drawing all of them in. Yep. Throw the grenade. Never mind, this is terrible. This is a terrible idea. Yeah, I see you assholes. Oh, thank God we're getting away. Thank God for this hit. We would not survive without this heal. We might still die. Oh, thank God we killed both of them at the same time. That had me cringing just a little bit. I was like, oh, fall back. Get away. 
Okay, let me look for some more health. There's definitely should be some. Yep, yeah, right there. Is there a little bit more? I'll say we could really use some. Looks like we're unlucky. I'll say there might be one by this tree. Uh, nope. We're shit out of luck, actually. Alright. I'm gonna try to throw a grenade at these guys. Try to kill at least one or two of them. Whatever can make it a little bit easier for us. We're also really low on shotgun shells here, so... Quite a few negatives here. I'll say I forgot if it was three or two of them. Okay, so... There's two of them chilling there, but when that one sees us, all of them come pretty much, so... Okay, they don't see me yet. Let me just kind of chunk a grenade, see if I get lucky. I say, come on, get close. Nope, not even, not even close. Okay, they're coming. Oh no, they're not. Okay, so we were able to draw them away. Oh yeah, look at that. This is perfect. I was worried for nothing. Apparently, I was just like unlucky. Let's say, let me just kill him though. Let's reload. Oh no, we're good. Forgot you didn't have to reload with this pistol. I'll say with one left, we can just show him some love. There we go. What else are we missing? Everything looks good. How's our time? We are past the 30 minute mark. So we're gonna stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. These flying bugs, let me tell you, they can pack a punch. But anyways, I will see y'all again in the next one. Like I said, like comment subscribe tell me how you feel tell me what you think about the game and i will see y'all again in the next one